Good morning students. This is Mr. Tim here today. I'm back out at the garden and I'm picking a couple of seeds today. This is cilantro. Some of us tried this in the garden. So what we did is this cilantro went to flower. It had pretty little white flowers and now you can see on the ends of the stems there, they have some little seeds. So what I'm doing, I'm doing the lazy way to pick them. I'm trying to find ones that still have flowers on them and not break them too well. I break them off, obviously. So here's another bunch. I'm trying to give you nice shots where you can see, I don't know, that's not very good in focus. Maybe that's better. So what I'm doing for right now to let them dry and collect them is I'm just breaking them off and I'm putting them into my little bucket here, upside down. And I hope, see there's another little one. I think I'm getting somewhat better at this. And then when I put them in the bucket, they're gonna continue to dry. I'm also killing weeds and things out here that I don't want. Oh, here's one that was hiding over here by the lettuces. A couple little ones. I need more hands to do this or somehow to hold my camera. Any rate, there's a bunch more. So they're all dried up and brown looking right now, but there's little tiny round seeds on there. Should grow more cilantro for us next year. So I wasn't too upset when they started going to seed like this. And now here's one, I'm trying to see if there's, now I, I did some lettuce this morning too. The lettuce has these little white tufts on it. They're already done blossoming. So what I'm doing is breaking these off and then I'll try to show these more detail later. At the bottom of each one of these little flower puffs, well, those little white things on there are what encourages the seeds to fly away. So this one, I should have tons and tons of them. So I am i don't know what kinds of lettuces they are. We had a whole bunch of bunches, different ones mixed together. But I'm gonna take these back to, see now this one is still pretty green. And that one you can see, so each, let me see if I can see one here. No, that didn't work out. Let me try for another one here to try to show you. Um, when they have all that little there they are. Now you can see, well, maybe now you can see them in my hand. All those little gray, uh, those are the little tiny seeds, not the little white part of the flower that looks like a flower puff. That's what just kind of encourages them to fly around. So all those little seeds right at the base of my finger are lettuce seeds. So the lettuce plants grew up. We ate a bunch of lettuce from them. We had lots of nice lettuce that I took for salads. We took lettuce to the kitchen. And now what I'm doing, oh, and here's another cilantro. See, now this looks back to the cilantro again. So there's a couple more here, a couple more here. They got kind of spread out when we planted them. So those are going in the cilantro seed bucket. And once that dries up some more in my classroom, then I'll come back and clean that out and take out the old dead stuff I don't want. But here, let's go back to lettuce again. And I like showing these because if, if we leave them here, I mean, well, there's already going to be lettuce seeds all over creation. I'm not going to be able to pick all of them. And some of them have already fallen down. And some of them will continue to fall. Even when I'm doing this, I'm probably spreading seeds all around. <clears throat> Speaking of which, sorry. And this is tumbleweed that I just kicked out of there because I don't really want that growing here. Um, I'm not coming out here very much, but I'll try to come out one day and get all this cleaned up. Now this one still looks pretty green. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that anyway because I think the little white tufts there tell me that the seeds are pretty much done and ready to disperse. So I'm gonna have, instead of going out and buying seeds, I should have a whole bunch of lettuce seeds here that we can collect and clean them ourselves and get that ready. And then we'll have lettuce seeds and we can replant. Now next fall, when we come in here, when the weather changes again, when the weather dries off, it will be, oh, sorry, this one's being difficult. There will be lots of these little lettuce seeds. They will have already fall, fallen all over the place. So whether we want them or not, as soon as we start watering here in the fall, when it's cool enough, the lettuce seeds will start to grow again. And then we'll have lettuce plants coming up that we can eat but I would like to have a little bit better control than that and be able to put them where we want them to be instead of just having them come up all over this area. Um, so this is the end of all the winter gardens. 
Um, if we look across there, we can see the carrots are done, the beets are done, the chard is all dying. They're not getting enough water. Oh, and here's another one we can show. This is different. These, um, I'm pretty sure these are carrots. They could be, no, no, this is dill. Here we go. So, oh, this one we can really see, and if you were here, you could smell them. So right here by my fingers, there's all sorts of little dill seeds. And this is what we used for, everyone thought they tasted like pickles. So this plant is also, well, we can show better, I think. Over here, they're still green. Here's little flowers. I think we can see all the stages. So the flowers are a little yellow. This all smells like dill. And then they make the seeds. And then when they get more ready, they're gonna turn brown like this. And then we would have tons of dill seeds that will grow in here. And again, we have tumbleweed we do not like and then these are the carrots doing the same thing this is the flower of the carrot and butterflies love these flowers because they can come and sit on them and they can get to lots of all their little pollen so those are carrots all the, so many of our carrots went to seed this year I don't know why now this one is almost done so again here's carrot flower and now this one has already made its flowers and that's making seeds. And I don't know if you can see all the little bugs in there too. So I will probably try to leave that another couple days or a week and then come back. There's a whole bunch of carrot flowers over here. This is that first row where we had lots of carrots. So can you see, yeah, pretty good. So this whole row, they started making seeds. Well, they made flowers first and now they're making seeds. So I'm gonna to try to harvest a bunch of carrot seeds too. Not today, because most of the flowers still look white and I don't think they're done making their seeds. So that's what our garden looks like now for the going into the summer. Um, hopefully by a week or two, I'll get out here and clear off the whole area and we can plant our autumn 60 day corn, which will grow in the summer. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about flowers and seeds. So we had carrots and lettuce and cilantro and dill. So we looked at four different things doing the same thing. Four different plants that are making seeds after they make flowers so they can grow again next year. Thanks, bye, talk to you soon.